I don't know if this is the professional way of doing it, but this is the way I found it. I am such an amateur and grandma at heart. So just the ability of like going to my sewing machine and just trying out this thrift flip was is like why not do it? It was four dollars. So it's so loud. Um but yeah, I'm gonna jump into this thrift flip and show you the transformation, all the different steps that I like did to get it to get to my waist size and length. This is how it fits me. I wanna make it shorter and like tighter to my waist and make it like up to here. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm going to resize this skirt. The thing that I'm going to do is wear the skirt backwards just so I know where to like create the darts and where I have to like change the, the pattern. <laughs> I took the safety pins and then I created a dart where there's already a dart. So I'm just going to take in the fabric where the there's there was a previous dart there and just gonna sew a straight line to make it fit like this nice and hug and now for the size of the skirt it's pretty much just safety pins and I love safety pins because you get to close it don't use regular pins because then it's like pointy and this is how you like always be like oh 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 you don't want to know that so safety pins are the safest option for pinning I just like fold it top and I want it to be like that much like above my knee because I am petite I am 5'2 that's 152 centimeters so whenever you're short like me if you have skirts above your knee and then you wear with heels it makes you look taller so if you want to look taller wear skirts above your knee and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this one I'm just gonna bring it above my knee and I think up to there is like a perfect length so I don't want to I could go all the way up there but then when you're dancing, that booty shaking, nah, 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 right here is good. And it's a lot that I'm going to cut off so that this fabric that I'm going to cut off, I'll just like put it in my chest for future projects that I hope to get rid of, to get, to work on. Quilting pins, quilting safety pins are the best pins ever. The, where the safety pins ends. It serves as a mark to know where you have to cut and sew. Off to the sewing machine. <laughs> the dart once you have your dart you have to iron it fold it down take your clips and now i'm going to sew right in here so it stays nice and flat by the way i used white just so you can see it for the for the video but if you have like a br the color of your skirt use the color of your skirt and then here because i have the pins there i can see how long i have to cut also, you have to keep in mind, seam allowance. So, let's see here. I'm cutting off. I want it 14 inches shorter. Um, but I'm actually just going to cut off 13. Because when I hem it, I'm going to need seam allowance. So, the seam allowance is going to help me give it the nice touch. Okay, because this is plaid, I know I can just follow this line. The same line and it's going to be even but yeah i'm gonna cut i'm thinking if i cut this first this fabric first then cut the lining it'll be much easier <laughs> first and 
then just follow it for, with the lining. It makes it easier. And the next step, I'm going to iron this inside like this and then top stitch and then it's done. gives me an iron iron glass and like look at the handmade do you see that like that looks like a professional did it i did it you could do it <laughs> um let me show you how i would style this skirt and then that would be the end of the video after i show you which shoes i would style because i really like plaid skirts and i feel like nowadays you can definitely create a trendy look with just wearing it with sandals or sneakers let me show you <laughs> how fast that was <laughs> just imagine because if i can do this transformation you can do this transformation trust me <laughs> believe in your skills and use the greatest bookable google <laughs> and this tutorial of course because i hope that this tutorial and these steps that i use help you transform your skirt that you thrifted for like more or less of the same price that i found this plaid skirt um